It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Chicago Bears. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Soldier Field. Bayless Jones now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Don't jump, ready? Starting on the ground with Herbert. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. They work now on second and nine. Out of the gun, Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. From the gun on third down, Fields. And again, back to Komet. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. On fourth down, Fields. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he is going to have the Bears first down. So signals the referee as they're going to convert by about a yard there on fourth and five. Big conversion. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Shotgun snap, Fields eluding the pressure right. Oh, what was he thinking there? It's easily intercepted. Keely Ringo picks it off. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7-0. Makes the score Eagles 7, Bears nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. At the line prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Go. They'll start the drive with a give to Foreman. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Jalen Carter working his way back behind the line of scrimmage and dropping it for a loss. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Back to throw, Fields. 
He'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemius St. Brown. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. Fields now to throw. Flushed out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And that's a lesson learned from the previous drive. Last time he forced one, and it turned into a pick six. Here, he knows better, and he just throws that one away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Fields. This will be caught downfield by Moore. Down to the ten. Touchdown, Chicago! D.J. Moore, 71 yards. And the Bears are an extra point away from evening this one up. Santos with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They start the drive here with Gamewell. Broken tackle. It was T.J. Edwards who brought him down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they are looking at a second and five situation. Burt sets up to throw it. He'll get that complete to Albert O. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. carry to set them up with a second and three. That was a good run. Probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? On the end around, here comes Smith. Fights loose. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Ball won't sound old or anything here, partner, but I remember the days in this situation where you just put the ball in the hands of a running back. Now, it could be anyone carrying the football to try and pick up a first down or a touchdown. And he ran right through one tackle as he fights forward for a gain of seven. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. They will run 
going straight ahead with Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Throwing his hurts. That's complete. It's Okuwebunam. And now off to the races down the right side. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. On the carry, here's Smith. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. Second and 3 from the 9. A give running right is game well. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. They'll run here with Gainwell. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Kenneth Gainwell taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Bears pick over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Forced out to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. And once he escaped the pocket there, he tried to keep those eyes downfield, but nothing was materializing. So he makes a smart move and gets that to the sideline. Back to the airfields on second down. That's complete to Mooney. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Now the Bears are going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Escaping the pressure right. And some strong running. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now a first down throw, Fields. That'll be caught by Foreman. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, 
Their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play, and he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. Fields to throw on third and one. Flush to his right. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. They're going to look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Then their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Devontae Smith. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, 78 yards. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed limits out there, and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Here we go. Good. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. But, Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. It was a small, magical spread to overcome. A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. Here's Fields now on second down. And this will be caught by Mooney. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, here's Fields. And that is incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. 
So this is going to require no some shot, heavy ready? thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Fourth down, Fields flushed out right. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there, but they do convert on fourth. Fields going to change things up here. Back to throw now on first down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Seventh play in the drive upcoming here on third and six. Ran it last time, now Fields to throw. Being chased out left. And Fields gonna have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. They give him seven yards on the play and they do pick up the conversion on third down. No must, no must. Fields on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be down at the 46. So they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Looking to throw on second down. Fields. There's Moody with another catch. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And now third down and six to go. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a brute. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Bears. Kirk Komet, 49 yards. And the Bears have cut it back within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we didn't put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better turn, a perfect drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet and said, go for it, get into a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration, pure unbridled joy after that one. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now a handoff coming left is Gainwell. Now he's loose at the 40, inside the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Kenneth Gainwell, their second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Elliott on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Makes the score Eagles 28, Bears 18. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. 
And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. At their own 21-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they looked up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here we go. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Jalen Carter in there to drop him at sacks on first and second downs. Now leads to a third and long. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. That's going to be caught downfield by Mooney. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. To the air again, Fields. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity. The Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. It's a 10-yard loss. It'll be a Brings loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Now Fields. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now Fields going to move them around. It's now third down and nine. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to back some up. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. A great effort there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Santos able to tag on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Elton. 
Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, and by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. This will be caught by Brown. And some room to run now. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. What a call there on third down. Took conviction, didn't it? If this is incomplete, the complexion of this game changes dramatically. Instead, not only is this a first down, but it's a big play to boot. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Kenneth Gainwell, 14 yards. And the Eagles are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. Elliott Good with a PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside. 